that's fine. So, so I was really excited to, to interview Ang Lee about the Hulk, and because um, he'd made the film. But when, when I interview, I try and make a little joke to put them at ease, you know. So I rang him up. He was in New York. I was in uh, London, and I said to him, Ang Lee, you have directed the Hulk film. You must be very excited and proud, but. Don't make me angry. <laughs> <coughs> you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> then there was a long, embarrassed pause, and then <laughs> Angley said, I'm sorry, what did you say? <laughs> And I said, I said, Angley, you have, <laughs> you've directed the Hulk film. You must be very excited and proud. But um, <laughs> don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. And there was another kind of silence, and then <laughs> Ang Lee said, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? <laughs> and I said, there's no need, it was just a stupid joke. And he went, no, what did you say? And I said, <laughs> I said, Ang Lee, <laughs> you've directed the Hulk film. You must be very excited and proud, but... Um, <laughs> don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. <coughs> and he, he didn't say anything. But I said, I expect loads of people have made that joke to you. <laughs> and he said, No. <laughs> no one's ever said it before. <laughs> Why did you say it? Why? <laughs> And I said, well, Ang. <laughs> you know the Hulk film? And he went, yeah. <laughs> I said, well, in that, uh, Bruce Banner, he's the Hulk. <laughs> he, he says, don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. And your name's Ang Lee, and you directed it. So I said... Um, don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Um, because angry sounds a bit like angry. And angry said, No, it doesn't. <laughs> and I said, Come on, Ang. Be fair, angry does sound a bit like angry. And Ang Lee said, no it doesn't. Ang Lee is a completely different word to Ang Lee. <laughs> and I said, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? <laughs> And Ang Lee said, yes, Ang Lee is a completely different word to Ang Lee. <laughs> and I said, I don't understand what point you're trying to make, Ang Lee. <laughs> what I'm saying, if you listen, is that Ang Lee sounds a bit like Ang Lee. So if you swap them round, people can see there's a slight change. There's some sort of joke there. Ang Lee, what you're saying, is actually the same word as Ang Lee. If you swap those two words round... No one would notice the difference. It wouldn't work. But that's not what you what you appear to be saying. Is that angly is a completely different word to angly, but it isn't. They're the same thing, and I can't understand. It's very simple. The joke I make, I can't understand how you've got into this kind of fix. I never. And then he went, "Oh, I get it." He said, "Is this a joke about me having a Taiwanese accent?" <laughs> and I was mortified. I went, "No, it never even occurred to me that you would think that. It's just a simple thing about the words, the syllables, re and li." Sounding the same. My own surname is Lee. I've had 36 years of fun with that syllable. I know what I'm talking about. 
I can't see why you would begin to think. And he went, no, you're anti-Taiwanese. And I went, I'm not. I don't even know where Taiwan is. I've got no interest in it. <laughs> made it worse, to be honest. Then he got, he got you on. Then he got, a, like, a lawyer on from Universal. And I had to, was shouting at me. So I, was anti I had to get my editor on from the paper to stick up for me. We ended up having this kind of four-way argument. It went on for ages, going, you're anti-Taiwanese. She was saying, my editor's going, no, he isn't. There's no history of anti taiwanese at all. And there was, like, <laughs> this thing. And on Ang Lee started shouting at me about it. And I went, well, I can't see what your problem is. Why don't you just listen to the joke? It's obvious. Then the end, he went, don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> and I said, you've proved my point, you fucking Taiwanese idiot. <laughs> he said, don't call me that. He got another bloke on. An advisor, I like to get someone else on. The publisher, there's like a six way, two hour debate going on. In the end, we argued for so long that Ang Lee missed his 2.30 dentist appointment. <laughs> That's the time that he goes to the dentist, Glasgow. Don't let him tell you any different. He doesn't even need to write it down. They offer him an appointment card, he rejects it. He says, I'll remember it by thinking about my own pain. 